which I've, I've heard it before and pretty much believe that too. But, but, but let's take a look at uh, to believe in Jesus Christ because um, we're here, we hear that a lot. Just believe in Jesus Christ. Just believe in Jesus Christ. But what am I believing about Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. See, some people say, I believe that he's the son of God. I believe that he died for my sins. I believe he, you know, was raised from the grave, from the grave, and got turned up. But what are we believing about him? Because, they, because let me say this to you: when you are ministering to someone, when you're ministering to someone, don't take for granted that they understand everything you're saying. Don't take for granted the meaning that the, what I'm saying by faith. The meaning that I have, I can't take that for granted that you have that same meaning. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you can walk out of here with the meaning that you've already had 20 years ago. And it could be wrong. Or it could be off. So to add to it. It's dangerous. To, yeah, and to want to add to your faith. Mm -hmm. So because uh, what my brother said here and what he said, is, is, you know, that goes together. So I'm believing in something that he's accomplished that God sees me right in his sight. I'm believing something that he accomplished that God sees me righteous in his sight. Now, just believing that, you know, okay, okay, I, you know, when you said believe, okay, I believe, you know, but when, 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 when sin comes and these things start to happen, are you righteous? No, I ain't righteous. Well, I thought you said you could believe. Well, yeah, but, but I sin. Wait, hold on. See, see where the confusion comes in at? So, John 3, 16, it says that, um, <coughs> so sorry. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world um, that He gave His only begotten Son, that every that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Uh -huh. So is it? It's believing in Him and what He did at the cross for us um, by His shed blood that we that we're saved. So when we acknowledge that He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords over our life and we come into the agreement, that's, we, 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 that's we, a we, process. We, 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 before that additive, before we start adding this baptism and all this kind of stuff, let's stop right here to what He's done, not what you're participating in. So, so we, hold, hold on a minute. Let's look at what He's done because what He's done has made me righteous. Right. Amen? Amen? So before I, before I, uh, uh, my, I said, what was provided here is received in his life. So what, what he provided here, he, uh, righteousness was demonstrated right here at his death. That makes everyone right in the sight of God. Right. It was his work that made us righteous in the sight of God. Because his work dealt with our sins once and for all. Amen? Amen. 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 He, 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 he fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the law and through his death. He, uh, he, uh, in his life, he upheld it in his death to where that uh, sin, the ways of sin, his death, he fulfilled that. That's, that. That work is done. He said it's finished. That work is done. Now, we're, we're made right through that according to what, what the blood has established. That, that blood is in heaven and God sees sin, what? Paid for, done away with, removed in the sight of God. So that righteousness that was demonstrated here is received in his life. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Okay. So now that happened before I got baptized. Amen. That, that happened before I said yes. But the gospel message is revealing this to me. That uh, when we say by that's in the by faith. In the by faith is that he has died. Like you said, he died for my sins. Amen. See now, if you say he died for your sins once and for all, which he's the last sacrifice, and God no longer sees sins, see, sin, see, see you guilty in his sight. God no longer sees you guilty in his sight. He says that he was in Christ, reconciled the world to himself, not counting our sins against us. Okay, but in, and you said you believe that, that's the by faith. But we come over here, on other, reading another scripture, and then we see ourselves guilty and ashamed before God. So what happened to the by faith? So that's why I said it has to, the by faith has to be talked about mm -hmm. so we can see the work of the faith Amen. so we can be solid with, with a foundation because the enemy's going to come. He's going to come because if we don't understand the foundation of this because the devil believes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But the devil ain't saved. A lot of folks sitting in church believe, but they don't have the foundation of the truth. Mm. Let, me say, let me say this real really quick. This was, this was said to me, it kind of blew me away. It was simple, but I'm like, hmm. We're not putting our faith in what the Bible says. All right. Let me say that again. We're not putting our faith in what the Bible says. Mm. We're putting our faith in what it means. Amen. See what I'm saying? Cause, I mean, I can read, I, I can read the Bible, the whole thing from front to, to, to the end of it. But until you understand it. Yeah. See, it's the meaning has to. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, like, like, I got saved. Okay. They say I'm saved. They say I'm saved. I remember one day I was at church, and the guy was preaching. I felt this in my head, but I never read it to the fact to understand it. And when he was preaching, I understood my salvation. Even though I went down there, repeated the sinner's prayer, got saved, was baptized, felt like wider than snow. Next week, I felt like I was the dirtiest sinner in the world. But when I heard it, my spirit witnessed to what he was saying. And it was like, wow, okay. Now I understand what has been said. Now I understand the meaning of my salvation.